How's it going everybody? This is Top of Drabo. Hope you're having another great day and welcome back to another video. But right, it's time for another edition of Hall and Games. In this series, I'll talk about all the video game pickups that I added to my collection throughout each and every month. And for this one, I'm gonna be talking about all the games that I got for the month of March of 2023. And a few interesting notes here. I do not have any PlayStation 3 games for this particular monthly haul. So I've skipped that for this month because, well, let's face it, you know, I'm running out of storage for all my PS3 games, unfortunately. So I can't really fit any more for now. But I still managed to get a couple of really good games in my collection. And the rest of them, I almost basically never heard of at this point, but really caught my eye. So I thought I'd go ahead and add them here into this collection. So why not just go ahead and get right into it. And we're gonna start out with all of our PlayStation 1 games. We have a few war games here. The first one of them are using mobile tanks. The first one of them is called Mobile Armor, which was released all the way back in 2002, actually. I'm just looking at the uh, year on the back of this game here, but it's really another one of those World War II-esque games where you control a tank and then try to stop your enemies, you know, most likely the German army and stuff like that. So nothing really spectacular in this one. Next one though, I find really unique. This one is called Uprising X. This game actually takes place in the future in which you actually play in a futuristic war machine. It's actually more of like a tank, but then it more transforms into like a robot almost. In fact, you also get to control your own infantry in this game, you know, whereas, you know, infantry, soldiers, or even planes and stuff like that, you try to take down your enemies and ultimately save your world or something like that. And so I find this to be a really unique futuristic game. I mean, it's not like mobile armor, which I just showed, or any of the other, you know, futuristic war games that I got. This one was really, really interesting and so I'm glad I have this one I played it a little bit and it's definitely very interesting I'm looking forward to playing this more in the future the next two games are both flight simulators the first one is called Agile Warrior F3X this is another one of those games that's very similar to air combat you're controlling your own fleet and really going overseas you know to stop terrorism and all of that stuff so it's very similar in comparison to that one but more of your own just American military air force or something like that so nothing really spectacular in this one the next one is called Tempest X this one is pretty much almost similar to Uprising X. However, this one, it more takes place in the intergalactic galaxy. So you're actually fighting in space. And I feel like that this and Uprising X were probably two of the most interesting games that I've gotten for the PS1 in quite a long time when it comes to the war scene. Yeah, I don't really know too much about this game otherwise other than it is in space. So obviously I'm gonna have to play a little bit more of this just to get the hang of it and see what it's more like. But either way, it's fairly unique and I thought I'd go ahead and add this one in my collection. Finally, the last one for this month for the PS1 is called Ball Breakers. In this game, you're actually playing as somebody that had been sentenced for committing a crime that really you didn't actually commit. In fact, you were basically falsely in prison or something like that. However, you're basically trying to break out of prison and you really only got one shot to do it. And so you're having to fight the enemy with a whole bunch of, you know, like ball like guns or something like that that shoots out these balls and really that's ammunition or something like that. And so you're really trying to fight for survival and hopefully get out there in one piece. I don't know, it's all similar to games like, you know, Apocalypse or stuff like that, where, you know, you're basically fighting to get out of prison and ultimately save your world from this guy that's threatening to end it with his, you know, powers and stuff like that. And so it's almost very similar to that one, but, you know, there's nothing really much to say about this. I don't really like it too much. I will continue to play it, but again, it's, it's just a little not to my touch. That's gonna do it for all the PS1 games. Moving on now to all of our PlayStation 2 games. I'm actually pretty excited about this one. All of these are games that I didn't really have in my wish list, but I still felt like I'd get the first one of them that I got here. It's based in the Vietnam War. It's called Viet Cong Purple Haze. I have not yet had a game from the Vietnam War in my video game collection. I know there's one from the Comfort series that has one in Vietnam. I'm hoping to get that one at some point, but I felt like I'd go ahead and give this one a shot. And it's definitely very interesting to play and I'm very happy to finally have a Vietnam War game in my collection. Hopefully there's more of them that I can add in my collection. The next one that I got is called Mercenaries Playground of Destruction. This is another one of those real interesting militia games in which you're basically playing as a group of mercenaries that are trying to stop a group of soldiers by any means necessary. In fact, I think it's really the Sinister Military Regiment. I don't think I remember exactly what the name of it is because I have not actually played this game yet, but it's basically what it says here in this game. It's definitely very interesting though to see exactly what this game is like, so hopefully I'll get a chance to play this at some point and see what it's like, but if it's anything, I feel like this could be you know, one of those you know, like Battlefield Bad Company 
3DS games, you know, so it could be a little comedic, but again, we'll just have to see where it goes from there. Next one that I got is called Headhunter. This one is actually very similar to Spy Hunter, in which you're really playing as sort of like this agent or something like that, in which you're trying to solve secret missions and all that stuff while trying to get back in one piece. So I find it similar to that and also comparable to games like, you know, like 007 and, you know, like Minority Report as well. So I felt like it would be a good one to have. The next one though is one of the most beloved games of all time. It is called Kingdom Hearts. Those that were fans of the Final Fantasy franchise as well as Disney, hey, you get both of them into one game right here. And this will be the first game in which it will turn into a franchise. You know, seeing some of your favorite characters from both of those franchises come together in this amazing fighting game is one of the reasons why I may consider Kingdom Hearts to be one of the greatest video games of all time. I mean, I only have one Final Fantasy game in my collection. I do have a whole bunch of Disney games as well, particularly with, you know, characters like Donald Duck and all of that stuff. Stuff, which of course I have in my collection but hey you know it's definitely interesting to see you know this game be created by Disney Square Unix or something like that so I feel like that this was a game that I really hedged on for quite some time but I feel like now would be the right time to go ahead and really give this a shot so I'm looking forward to this one and hopefully this one is pretty good again I did not have any games from the PlayStation 3 in my collection for this month so I'm just gonna skip right over to the PlayStation 4 games and all three of them are actually very unique because well, first off, I never even heard of those three games, but I still feel like that they were something that were really, really interesting to try. So the first two I actually have here are actually very similar in regards to you know, like the setting and all of that stuff. The first one that I have here is called Earthfall, which was actually released back in the early days of 2018. And then later that same exact year, another game which was released by 2K called Evolve. It's basically the same exact thing, you know, you're fighting these real creatures that are threatening the top of your world, and so obviously, you're trying to fight to eliminate every single one of them as fast as you possibly can, and really, you know, it's very similar, like, in Evolve, it's basically those demon-like aliens or something like that, and then you get games like Earthfall, where it's basically more of like those, you know, like, Bigfoot-style creatures or something like that, so it's really almost similar in comparison, just, you know, different settings and different plots almost. But yeah, I feel like I would give the both of them a shot here, I feel like that, you know, these are two games that almost similar to games like you know like Bloodborne or like stuff like that I feel like it could be very very interesting or it could fall flat on its face so we'll just have to see what the both of them are like when I give them a shot but either way I think it should be pretty cool to see finally the very last game that I got for this month is called The Dwarves now I'm gonna be honest with you I have absolutely no idea what this game is about but it's almost similar to God of War like the thing is that you know that there are a lot of characters in this game that really look more like dwarves however it's also like like Final Fantasy, which is a role-playing based game, and so obviously you're playing with a whole bunch of these characters, you know, like, fighting in these prehistoric times, obviously, you know, more of like in the, I don't know, 12th, 13th, for whatever century it was, and basically you're just fighting to build your colony, and also, you know, like, just rise to be really the superior group. I mean, dwarves, if this is sort of a name or something like that, I thought at first it was supposed to be like a bunch of real dwarves or something like that from, you know, all those movies or something like that, but again, I can't tell that yet because I have not played this game yet, but it's just the title alone is enough for me to think that this is a rather hilarious and, you know, unique game or something like that. So, obviously, I felt like I'd go ahead and add this one in my collection, give this one a shot, and, hey, you know, if the title is an indication, it might be a little funny, but, hey, I'm really hoping that this game is pretty good, so we'll see exactly what comes out of this one. Alright, that's gonna do it for all of our games for the month of March. Again, you know, a couple of really unique ones that I really didn't feel like that I was getting at first until the very last minute, but again, Kingdom Hearts man that's a game that's really gonna get you really on your heels i mean that's a game that's so beloved by the anime community as well as those that have been long time fans of the role playing genre and so obviously it feels good to finally have that one in my collection and so i feel like that although it's not as impressive of a collection outside of that game i still feel like i got a few good ones here anyways that's gonna do it for another video i hope you all enjoyed it as always if you like to see more of my content be sure to subscribe hit notification bell so you know when my latest video is released comment below from future suggestions for all my videos, whether it's vlogs, projects, or challenges, you name it, leave it in the comments below, and I'll do my best to make them. As always, follow me on my social media, all the links are in the description below. That's gonna do it for another video. I hope you're having another great day. And as always, I hope to see all of you again in another video very soon. So long, everybody.